this is TK Tahmina Khan. This is the second video in connection of integration. Last time we learned um, basic integration, all which we knew, and then next uh, new form of ln f of x. And now we will do partial fraction in this video and integration by substitution. So let's see. So once again before starting I would like to point out here that I have taken only examples from different books. I have not made any question by myself. Okay, so now we have to integrate a rational function by a partial fraction. So let's see what do we do. Suppose this is the question. So here we can factorize the denominator. Now when we are doing integration of rational fraction by partial fraction, we should know all the cases of it. There are um, five cases I will explain um, two in my this video through example and uh, you can see my video for partial fraction separately which has the detailed explanation of partial fraction okay so I have factorized this denominator they both are linear so according to the partial fraction it will be a over x plus 2 plus b over x minus 2 so I will apply the concept of partial fraction here and I will decompose this rational fraction. So after applying partial fraction, I have explained in detail here in case if somebody has forgotten. So you can see the steps which you have learned in um, partial fraction. I'm trying to figure out, find out the values of A and B. Once I have found the values of A and B, I know now the decomposition of this rational fraction into partial form. So now if I have to integrate this function I will basically integrate these two functions these two terms. Okay so now instead of this now I'm writing this again minus 1 over 4 I'm taking out I am showing here that I'm applying integration or individual terms you can do it directly also but my experience children usually get confused so I say whatever way they are comfortable with they can so I have explained here through individual terms so after taking minus 1 over 4 out and from here 1 over 4 out I have two terms of integration here now like we learned in the last video the differentiation of this is 1 which is present here so we learned last time in the last video that if we have a partial fraction such that the differentiation of the denominator is present in the numerator then we can write it like this we don't need to do any other thing so similarly in this case the differentiation of x plus 2 is 1 which is present here hence i can write ln x plus 2 according to this formula so now same thing I'm doing here, the differentiation of x minus 2 is 1, which is here, so it will be 1 over 4 ln x minus 2. So after that, I'm just rearranging, I'm writing positive term first, negative term second, and then applying the concept of log. We know that ln a minus ln b equals to ln a over b. So I'm getting this over here. Let's see the second example here. I will not completely solve it. I want you to solve it. And it's look it looks different at a glance, but actually it is not. If I take x square common out, it is forming another form of partial fraction, repeated case and linear form. And we know how to decompose it. So here is the decomposition. I want you to try it out. So now you will try out and find out your answer. I have given the answer here. You can recheck is your answer right or not. And I hope inshallah you will do it perfectly okay because you are very intelligent. Now let's see the integration by substitution which is also called change of variable. Now what is integration by substitution? Theoretically if we see it is saying it is a technique used to transform difficult integral into simplest one in which the standard integrals can be used. So it takes the form which is easy to recognize and then you can integrate easily. So basically what happened, the function which is given to you is in some variable 
say x, x and you change it into some other integ uh, variable say for example u so whatever substitution you will take it will change into that uh, variable now let's see an example here now this is the question now the laborious, laborious method is that you expand all the terms get individual term and then integrate it which will be very time consuming so how can we um, efficiently approach towards the question and solve it let's see by the substitution method or change the variable method most of the time variable or substitution which you have to take is given to you if it is not with practice you will get intelligent enough to figure it out on your own now let's see I've taken the substitution u is equals to x square plus 1 I differentiate it I get du over dx equals to 2x we know this and then by separating the variable we will take dx over here actually again there is a explanation complete explanation behind this how it happens but it will take long so I am taking a direct approach and which is called separating the variable to make it simple so now du is equals to 2x dx so now if you look at this question I have to change all the x variables into u so I'm rewriting it writing 2x this side along dx just to give it a better look not necessary this step is not compulsory and after x square plus 1 is u power 5 and this whole thing is equals to du so I have replaced it so this is my function and we know the integration of this so I have integrated and after that I have substituted the value of u back over here so I hope this is easy to understand now let's see another example of uh, integration by substitution and the first one I have taken was also indefinite integral this is also indefinite integral after that I will take one definite integral example in which I will apply limits okay so here I have taken sine x equals to u as a substitution and what I have shown here is that what does it mean because most of the children misunderstand it and think that it is sine x into x into x no sine cube x mean sine x into sine x into sine x so coming back to here so I have taken this substitution and I will differentiate it with respect to x so sine x differentiation is cos x and then by separating the variable I'll take it over there and then I will replace it so now my sine x will become u cube because of this I'm writing here u so it will become u cube and cos x dx is equals to du sorry I have made mistake here I should write here dx let me correct it okay so now it is dx so after that I am applying simple integration which we all know and then after that I am writing sine x in place of u so this is my integration k is just a constant you can use letter whatever you like okay now definite integration and changing the limit because when we are using the method integration by substitution um, the limits we need to change according to the new variable so let's see the question the question is here in front of you and I am taking a substitution u is equals to sine x when I differentiated it it will become du over dx now by changing the um, separating the variable method du is equals to cos x dx and my limits which were earlier 0 to pi by 2 so in this substitution in place of x if I write 0 sine 0 is 0 so u will be 0 if I write sine pi by 2 sine pi by 2 is 1 so I will get u1 so my limits instead of 0 to pi by 2 will become 0 to 1 so that's why I have taken limit here 0 to 1 and this is the substitution so now I am after integration because integration of e power u will be e power u I'm applying limit Achha. here I would like to mention that mostly children 
um, know that when they write zero in place of x, the term becomes zero. But please be careful. When you have a function in terms of u, uh, sorry, e, e power zero is not, uh, sorry, e power zero is one. It's not zero multiplied by something. So do not misunderstand the concept. So after applying the limit, this is the answer I am getting. So thank you very much for video two. In the next video, third one, I will explain integration by parts. And if you have learned something, I would request you to please press subscribe and like button along with bell. It would be good for me as well as for you. You will know when I will, I will apply, um, upload my new video. Thank you very much for watching and please share it with your other friends. They may also get benefit out of it. Thank you.